Hello, I'm Snack Pack, and this is my first ever recording. Uh, I decided to go with a... Well, I read it on mon with the manga, and then that turned me on to the light novel. And that is Tenze Shitara Slime Dateken. And that roughly translates to Regarding Reincarnated to Slime. The story itself is by Fuse, and the illustrations are done by Mitzvah, as you can see up here. I really like the art style, and I'm looking forward to seeing a few more of the pictures. Um, the translation itself is done primarily by Clown, and I think, yes, Wuja and um, Goro also picked up a couple chapters. There's a total of uh, 26, or well, 28 if you include the prologue and the, the extra. And the way that I was thinking I would do this is I would go ahead and just read each section on their own, and then I'll just, for every update, include it on the playlist. Um, this is the empowerment arc, and I have skimmed ahead, and it looks pretty interesting, and I'm excited to see where it goes, because I have not actually completed, or I'm not up to date on the updates. So, I know a couple things are going to happen, and I hope that you enjoy them. Uh, now I will say that <coughs> I'm not 100% certain on the actual translate or yeah translations pronunciations of the names. So if I butcher them, I do apologize ahead of time, and uh, please bear with me. So if you know how to say it, please let me know, and I will do my best to fix it in subsequent updates. That being said, I guess I'll take it away with the prologue: Death and Reincarnation. A life so normal that nothing can be said about it. After leaving college, I joined a major general contractor firm and am living alone now at the age of 37, having no girlfriend. Filial duty is left to my older brother. My life is essentially that of an independent single noble. Neither short of height or wanting of a good face, yet unpopular. I have tried exerting effort into finding a girlfriend and have confessed thrice. But after being dumped, my heart is left shattered. Well, having reached this age, I can honestly say that this romance thing is not but troublesome. And although you could say that I am mostly busy with work, it's not like I'm really troubled by not having one. It's not like I'm making excuses. Really? Senpai, sorry to keep you waiting. With a cheerful smile, a young man approaches me, and by his side, a beauty. More specifically, the young man Tamura is a junior at the same company I work at. The one by his side is our company's renowned Madonna, the receptionist Sawatari-san. Yep, I have been asked by these guys to offer consultation on their upcoming marriage. And by the way, this is the reason I started wondering about my own unpopularity. The after-work rendezvous was held at an intersection, and there are two, and there, the two hope to indulge my thoughtfulness and support. Yeah, so what kind of advice are you looking for? I ask while greeting Sawatari-san. Hello, pleased to meet you. My name is Sawatari Miho. Although we have seen each other before, this is the first time we're speaking, right? It makes me nervous somehow. The nervous one is me, damn it! I mean, I'm not that good at speaking to girls in the first place. Cut me some slack. With such words, I silently complained to myself. And in the first place, with no apparent love experience, what kind of advice can I even offer? Aren't you all just poking fun at me? It's spite, isn't it? Hello, I am Mikami Sotaro. No need to be nervous or anything. sawatari san is famous with us, so I know who you are even without the introduction. About Tamura, we went to the same university, you know, so we've had lots to talk about, after which we naturally hung out a bit. What's this about being famous? Are there weird rumors floating about me? Yeah, like uh, having, having had an affair with Chief X, or going on dates with Waikun, things like that. It was all teasing, of course, and although I intended these to be just some light jokes, Sawatari-san's face turned bright red and she looked at me with watery eyes. Hate to admit it, but she looked adorable. Well, my jokes lack both delicacy or tact, and I'm often told to keep my mouth shut. But I end up saying them anyway. Failed again, huh? Yeah. I am just bad with women. And as if on cue, in steps Tamura, lightly tapping her shoulders. Damn it, Tamura, you bastard! It's these situations where you Raiju should just all explode. I should shout this, right? 
Senpai, please leave it at that. And Miho, you're just being teased. With a laugh, Tamoa continues mediating the situation. Aren't you dandy, Junior? Aren't you dandy, Junior? That line always, like, I don't know if he's being sarcastic or not. It is like, well, aren't you dandy, Junior? Or, aren't you dandy, Junior? You can take it how you want. Bright, cheerful, and without a hint of sarcasm, isn't he a lovable guy? Tamura is only 28, and although we are many years apart, we've got something in common. Well, nothing to do, I guess, but give them my blessing. My bad. I'm just not good with women. And, well, the location doesn't help much, does it? Let's go get something to eat and talk there. It's just jealousy, after all. And the, just when I thought so. Kya! Screams. Confusion. What? What's going on? Move it! I'll kill you! Turning, around, turning to the sound of a voice, a man brandishing a knife and holding a bag is running towards us. I hear the scream. I see the man. I see the knife. Where is it pointing at? At Tamara! Done! I hit Tamara out of the way. Dus! There's a burning pain in my back. Ch! Damn hindrance. Having shouted thus, I see the man escaping and turn to make sure that Tamara and Sato Sat for fuck's sake. Sawatari-san are safe. With a shout that resembled no words, Tamura runs up to me. Sawatari-san is stunned by the sudden turn of events, but appears without injury. <sighs> Thank God. That being that, my back burns. Feelings of pain aside, it just burns. What's up with this? It's too hot. Can it let off a bit? Confirmed. Establishing heat resistance. Success. Could it be? Was I stabbed? Can't be dying from a stab wound. Confirmed. Establishing pierce resistance. Success. Additionally, establishing physical attack resistance. Success. Senpai, there's blood coming out. It's not stopping. It ain't. What's up with this loud guy? I feel like his voice is strange just now. Well, that much can be expected from Tamara. But blood? Yeah, clearly leaving. I am human, after all. When stabbed, I bleed. But pain is unpleasant, isn't it? Confirmed. Removing perception of pain. Success. Well, this is bad, right? Pain and impatience are muddling my senses. T Tamura, you're damn loud. It, it's not that big of a deal, right? Stop worrying. Senpai, the blood you keep... His face is blue, on the verge of tears. Tamura continues to hold me. That's the face that is the ruin of handsome men. I tried to look at how Sawatari-san was doing, but my vision is too hazy. I can't see. The burning sensation in my back is gone. Instead, a ferocious cold strikes me. This could be bad. When people don't have enough blood, they die, don't they? Confirmed. Creating bloodless body. Success. Hey, you. What's this you've been going on the past few minutes? I try to speak, but no words come out. This is bad. Maybe I really will die. But hey... I no longer feel neither pain nor the burning, but it's cold, so cold, and nothing I can do about it. What's with this? I am too busy of a man to be freezing in this cold. Confirmed. Establishing cold resistance. Success. Additionally, heat resistance has successfully evolved into thermal fluctuation resistance, EX. At that time, the dying brain cells of mine, with a flas flash of inspiration, blah, 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 have remembered the truly important things. Yes! The contents of my PC hard drive. Tamara! If, and only if, I say, I die. Take care of my PC. I beg you. Submerge it in water. Turn it on and completely wipe the data clean. Thus, I, having summoned the remainder of my strength, have conveyed the matters of most grave importance. Confirmed. Attempting full format of all information. Error. Impossible due to lack of definition. Attempting alternate interpretation. Establishing electricity resistance. Success. Additionally, paralysis resistance has been acquired. I don't know exactly what Tamara is saying at that moment while giving me that blank look, but I understood the meaning of what was said. <laughs> That's so like senpai, he said with a bitter smile. Who would even want to look at a cry man's crying face? That grin is so many times better. You know, I... About Sawatari. I wanted to show her off to Senpai. <laughs> I knew it. This bastard. Jeez. 
I've forgiven all of it. So your girlfriend. Make her happy. Got it? And take care of the PC. The last of my strength was only enough to say that much. Completely unsatisfied, Mikami Satoru died. And at that instant, Mikami Satoru's soul linked with a spawned monster in another world. Into a dimensional crack, so small that no eye could see, his soul linked with a mass of demonic energy. This mass was the origin of demons, and to Mikami Satoru, who had linked to it, his thoughts as a base, the mass constructed a body. What is normally is essentially an impossibility with an astronomically small chance of occurrence, Mikami Satoru was reborn as a monster in another world. A life so normal that nothing can be said about it. After leaving college, I joined a major general contractor firm, and am living alone now at the age of 37, having no girlfriend. Filial duty is left to my older brother. My life is essentially that of an independent, single noble, thus a virgin. Unbelievable! Departing the world without ever being put to use. My son must be crying right now. <sighs> Sorry I could never make you into an adult. When I'm reborn, we'll change things around. Go on the offensive with a bang. Call him out and go on a devouring spree. <sighs> but that's no good, is it? Confirmed. Unique skill predator has been acquired. And, well, at almost 40 years old, this 30-year-old version that I am... In a magical world would certainly be a sage. Heck, a great sage wouldn't be out of the question, would it? Confirmed. Extra skill, sage, has been acquired. Additionally, extra skill, sage, has been successfully evolved into unique skill, great sage. The hell have you been on about? The hell is a great sage? Are you making fun of me? It isn't even a bit unique. I am not laughing here. So rude. Thinking that I went to sleep. So this is death, huh? Not as lonesome as I thought. Those were, from Mikami Satoru, the last words in, spoken in this world. And that is the end of the prologue. The next chapter is, uh, let's see what I can do. And I am really looking forward to it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this recording. And uh, again, if I butchered the names horribly, please let me know and I will try to fix that. Although I don't actually recall if we ever really touch upon those names again in the near future. Anyway, um, thanks again, and uh, have a good day.